Okay, we've got this power converter here. 5,000 watts. PM5000 QBR. Okay, we're going to do another stress test on this today. If you remember last time in the first one, was having a problem with this breaker popping right here. It just wasn't big enough. See, that one's a 300 amp, and this is a 500 amp. 500. So that's as big as I want to go with this line right here, 500 amp. So the first thing we need to do is shut this thing back down. It's been running for two or three hours. And disconnect it here. And I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do this, but I hate cutting these lines off in order for them to fit in there. I guess we'll have to do what we gotta do. So I'll get that changed out real quick. Okay, we got them swapped out. Had to wind up cutting the whole connector off of it. Cutting it back to bare wire. I was really hoping to leave the the crimped part on there but it wouldn't fit in there so I had to wind up so I had to wind up just cutting it clear back and stick it in there and tighten it down Allen, Allen bolts there like I say this is a 300 amp this is a 500 amp so I got everything all tied again on the batteries so what we can do now, we can start plugging some stuff in. We're going to do another stress test on it. We're going to run a microwave, refrigerator. The refrigerator's been unplugged ever since last time we tried it. Haven't plugged it in yet. So it's going to be good and hot. This is the 4th of July, so it's, going to, it's warm outside. So I'll pause for a minute and I'll get some stuff plugged in and the refrigerator I'm going to do like I did last time I'm just going to run a cord around in the other room run a long extension cord that way I don't have to move it in here but I'll bring the microwave and crock pot and that kind of stuff in here I can run a drill so we can do a good stress test on it and I remember last time this here was the weakest link right here it kept popping a breaker here. It's 300 amp. But we don't want to go any higher than 500 amp. We don't want to burn up the unit itself. So I'll stop here for a minute. We'll get some stuff plugged in. We'll see how it's going to do this time. Okay, on this system, we have this hooked up to solar panels. Got two rover controllers and uh, and it's a nice sunny day so we got lots of power shows we got 100 percent power on the controller on the batteries 13.3 volts so right here we got a crock pot right here it's plugged in here this one goes to the microwave this one goes to the refrigerator we still got one more for a drill so i'll show you the refrigerator real quick it'd be the little small refrigerator that you can find in the truck truck drivers probably use got a little freezer on top Let's see if it's getting cold. Yep, it's starting to get cold. I've had it running for a couple minutes now. 
it's, I don't know if you can see the lights on in there. We've got a cord running. You hear water running in here. That's uh, over here where the hot tub is. So we're going to move back into the garage area. I'll show you the microwave next. Okay, now we've got the microwave on the back of the golf cart. So we'll open that up, show you. Got a full gallon of water in there. This line here is plugged into the converter. Turn that on. So we've got the microwave going. We'll go. We'll go three, four minutes. Now I'll go back over here to the go back over here to the converter. Now we're gonna turn on the crock pot. We'll turn it up on high. Okay, if we get any kind of overload, we're gonna we're gonna pop that 500 amp breaker over here on the panels. We've got her down to 71 already. So it's pulling her down pretty quick. Now we'll go get a drill. We'll get a half inch. Half inch black and decker drill. See that's seven amps. So we got microwave going here, refrigerator, crock pot. It'll start getting warm here in a minute. Just plugged in right there. Okay, now hit the drill. See what that'll do. Seven amp drill. Okay, the unit came on. You hear the cooler fan came on. Came on there for a minute. Watch the light dim when I kick this on. See, I would have done had it pop by now. It would have done. I better turn that water off. It's done. I'll have that thing. Yeah, it's starting to get warm. That's a whole gallon of water. I figured it'd be a little bit warmer than that, but we'll run it a little bit longer. We'll do another three minutes refrigerators running crock pot starting to get hot now and this it's holding up it is getting warm so probably a slim chance you'd be running everything all at one time I mean refrigerator kicks on and off Microwave comes on and off, but and if you this here will take the place of your coffee pot. 
I do have a coffee pot around here somewhere, I believe. You hear that thing coming on? I think I got it right behind me here. I just took it out of my camper. Of course, I, I don't want to run the water through it and all that, so we'll just call this good. But I believe it's going to pass the test. I mean, by now, I'd have done had that thing gone. It didn't, it didn't pop the breaker. Microwave still got one minute, 12 seconds on it. I believe we're going to pass the test. Yeah, I'd have done, I done had this in pop by now. So see, this is the weak link in the, in the whole system. So we replace that with a 500 amp. It's getting warm, but it's it's no problem. So that's good. We've got a good system now. We don't have to. We can load up whatever we want to on it, and I wouldn't suggest run a a welder or anything like that off of it. But a little 110 welder. I, it won't even run the uh, my. Uh, in the first one, when we did the test, it won't run the air compressor. Big old motor on there won't start it up. So we're going to start shutting some of this stuff off. And yeah, this this passed the test with no problem. So yeah, it's there's a the microwave just quit. This, this one right here, this wire right here goes back in the other room for the refrigerator. And this one was a drill, this one was a crock pot, and this one was a microwave. So, we passed the test on that, on that one. So that's a real good unit. I mean, I've got five batteries hooked up to it. You see in behind it. Three on this side. Two over here on this side. Now let's see what we're doing over here on the on the panel. Got it around 80%. Not bad. Nice sunshiny day. I mean, there's a few clouds here and there, but it's... Uh, you see this little unit right here. That goes to the. This goes to the power converter. If you're putting this in a truck or a camper, and this here will go up there by your control panel. Hit that button right there, kill it. You got to push and hold it. Turn it back on. I heard the microwave come back on. So now I gotta wrap up all these extension cords. There's a shot of the microwave again. So this unit, this power converter, 5,000 watts, would be ideal for a truck, camper, that kind of stuff. Now, if you really wanted to run uh, TVs, electronics, stuff like that, VCRs, DVD players, radio, stuff like that, I'd highly recommend getting a, this is a modified sine wave. I'd get the pure sine wave that cleans up the, cleans up your power. Instead of being of a choppy signal, it makes it more of a, it makes it more of a smooth signal. So okay, well I guess we we uh, did good on this one. We gotta start pretty warm out here. I'm ready to get this stuff put back up and get back in the house. It's pretty warm out here. 
So what I'm going to show next is the, I'm not going to show all the fireworks we had last night. I'm just going to show the grand finale. That was awesome. I know most of you probably wouldn't sit and watch all of them all the way through for 30, 40 minutes. Just watch a couple of minutes of the grand finale, minute and a half, whatever it was. It was awesome. So we'll go to the fireworks and thanks for watching. <laughs> About time for the grand finale. Here we go. My word. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> My. <laughs> wow.